everybody, welcome back to E Cubed. Today we have a phrasal verb and it is to chime in. Now what is a chime? There are wind chimes. These are wind chimes. You hang these outside your house and when it's windy outside, those metal tubes or wooden tubes will bounce against each other and make noise. It's like some sort of music. Wind chimes can sound very nice. Uh, also, to chime a bell, you can take like a, a stick, and here's a bell. Well, I'll make a bell here. Here's the bell. Yes. It's the Taco Bell. Uh, um, and, and you can take the stick and ding. Ding. This is chiming the bell to chime the bell. Okay, so to chime. So chime has this idea to to make a not, uh, to make a noise, to make a noise, and that's it. To chime in, to add a noise in. Think about going in. You're going in. Sound in. Adding noise. That's what it means. So to chime in has two common definitions. Number one, to give an idea or to give a suggestion and number two to interrupt when I'm speaking I don't want you guys to chime in don't speak don't add your comments when I'm speaking if you have an idea I want you guys to chime in if you have an idea a suggestion please let us know just start speaking start speaking do you understand it's a great expression Let's check out a dialogue. Ah, uh, I completely disagreed with John. Really? Yeah, he was totally wrong. <laughs> Why didn't you chime in? Yeah, that's true. When, when people have a complaint, they don't like something, they disagree with somebody, chime in. Be polite, don't interrupt, but take the opportunity, take a chance, find a chance to chime in. And don't just be critical. Don't just say negative things. Give ideas. Give your opinion. Give your point of view. Chime in. Now, actually, it's very frustrating. Many of my students, actually most of my students are about my age. Most of them are professionals, lots of doctors, lots of uh, 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 professors, lots of engineers, lots of very professional people. And many of these professional people we had, uh, I have a doctor from Argentina, he was in Chicago for a conference. We have uh, an airplane uh, engineer from Turkey, he was in Florida for a long time. Uh, we've got people all over the world uh, coming to America to these international conferences where people are speaking and you're selling your products and you're looking at different things. And so many foreign people, they're their English is not so good, they're not confident, and they see an event, they have an opinion, but they don't say anything. They're afraid to chime in. They're afraid to chime in because, I guess, they're English. A confidence in your English level. Yeah. This is uh, one of the most important things for DDM members. And yeah, I know I'm selling again, but it's true. Uh, DDM Live and DDM VIP members, they get that chance to speak. And trust me, the, for most students, the first several times when they join the live meetings or the VIP meetings, they don't say anything. They're very quiet. But then, what's really important is after a couple weeks, their confidence grows and grows and I would say after two months all of the students are very comfortable talking with me. Building that confidence is not easy. So if you are one of those people who's afraid to chime in because of your English, that's another reason to join DDM. We will get you speaking. Remember DDM has many levels. The speaking DDM is DDM Live and DDM VIP. That's it. All right. Now, if you guys have something to say, chime in. Let's check out the dialogue. 
Oh, I completely disagreed with John. Really? Yeah, he was totally wrong. <laughs> Why didn't you chime in? Oh, I completely disagreed with John. Really? Yeah, he was totally wrong. <laughs> Why didn't you chime in? Oh, I completely disagreed with John. Really? Yeah, he was totally wrong. <laughs> Why didn't you chime in?